Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to do the unboxing and overview of the Final Audio ZE3000. So these are a pair of true wireless earbuds um, from a company that probably you guys wouldn't know about unless you're into the IEM uh, space. So if you are on HeadFi or you're just uh, looking around a lot of IEMs, you might have heard of this company. But otherwise, it's not really well known to a lot of mainstream consumers. Uh, so the Final Audio is a Japanese company. They mostly focus on IEMs, um, although they have planar magnetic headphones as well. And um, yeah, I would say that they go the whole range. Like they have some affordable stuff, they have some expensive stuff into the thousands of dollars. This is one of their more affordable offerings. So this uh, retails for about $150 US MSRP. I got this for about 100 bucks online. And uh, they've been very well received. So I've um, always wanted to try some final audio stuff, uh, but yeah. I just thought uh, I might just, you know, get into this one because it's relatively affordable and uh, compare it to some of my other wireless earbuds. So I think Final Audio is also well known for their ear tips as well. A lot of other IEMs that I bought actually came with Final Audio ear tips because they have uh, a lot of different sizes and uh, shapes and variety. All right. So, um, yeah, it's Bluetooth, obviously. AptX Adaptive is what they have. So I think that's pretty much the standard these days if you're looking for true wireless earbuds. Um so here's the specs. It's a Bluetooth 5.2, a Qualcomm QCC3040 chipset, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency response. Um, supports, uh, yeah, SPCAC, that's the minimum. Aptex and Aptex Adaptive, uh, A2DP support, um, seven hours of continuous music playback, and uh, 1.5 hours here plus two hours for case for charging, uh, 35 milliamp hours for the battery, 300 milliamp hours for the case, IPX4, water resistant. Okay, so that's the specs. Um, they also comes with an app, so you can download the final app as well, I guess to fine tune it even more. So let's check it out. All right, final ZE3000, this is the manual. Yeah, this is my first uh, experience with uh, final audio, um, other than their ear tips, I mean. Um, yeah, I've used their ear tips before because they came prepackaged and bundled with other IMs, but never uh, their actual products. Yeah, this is just uh, troubleshooting stuff. Yeah, okay. In different languages, of course. Uh, then the manual. All right, so that's what it comes with. Charge your case battery level. Earphone is battery level. Okay, power charging. Turning on the earphones. Turning off the earphones. One thing I don't really like about these i mean i like the fact that uh wireless headphones and earbuds you know they're more convenient and stuff but one thing i don't like about it the inconvenience of it is that they all have their own special instructions on how to do things like it's kind of complicated sometimes and of course you got to charge them as well so that's the inconvenience compared to normal wired um earphones and uh and headphones in fact you gotta read this long of a manual just to be able to understand how to use it Simple wired earbuds and, um, and uh, yeah, simple wired IEMs and headphones. You don't have to worry about any of this. It just works. Just plug it in and it works. This, you got to deal with all sorts of these. Like, look, operation of touch. Con it's one of those touch control things. I actually don't really like wireless uh, headphones and, and earbuds with touch controls. Because, yeah, you got to remember all these gestures and stuff. And it's actually different for each company, right? It's, also, it's different for each company. So you got to remember all these different gestures and stuff. It's, uh, it's just really complicated. And I'd rather them just have physical controls on the earbud itself, right? So my Master Dynamic MW08s have just physical controls, and that's that's it. Just have physical controls. You don't need this fancy touch control stuff. It just makes it so complicated. And troubleshooting stuff again. So yeah, now I gotta remember all these different uh, controls for this. You know, for the Sonys, I gotta do that too. The, the, the 1000W, um, 1000 XM3s, I gotta remember all the different touch controls for it because yeah it's different for every company all right now we have the earbuds themselves all right um i'm guessing this is the cable here let's double check what this is okay we get a usb-c to usb-a cable as expected and something else here as well and we get ear tips okay so final audio is actually known for their ear tips so let's see what sizes we get here oh look at this we get edge style series ear tips type e yeah 
So Final Audio produces several different you know, types of ear tips, uh, which I guess is why so many other items use them. But uh, this is their E-type. So, okay. I don't really know the differences between all these different types. No fatigue, even after long periods of use, does not fall out of the ear. Improved bass, we do sound leakage. Okay. Uh, eliminates the invasive feeling. Okay. Cool. Um, these are the ear tips it comes with. I wish they provided a better case. This is not. This isn't really a case, you know. But I wish. I wish they provided a better case for the ear tips. But these are. Uh, yeah, you only get three pairs of ear tips. Yeah, kind of. That's normal, I guess. But um, you know, for a company like Final Audio, it's kind of expecting a little bit more than just the regular three pairs. The you know, small, medium, large size ear tips. It's pretty normal. All right, uh, now let's look at the the case and the earbuds. Okay, so this is the case. Um, it's, I guess, average size, maybe a little bit bigger than average. So here's my Master Dynamic MW08s for comparison. I guess it's fairly average for wireless earbuds uh, these days to have this, um, I guess, this size of the case. The case made in China, okay. Final audio, and uh, pretty simple. What it feels pretty cheap actually. <laughs> it feels just like really like light plastic. And the charging port on the bottom of the case, of course, USB C as expected. And uh, yeah, let's look at the uh, earbuds. Oh, well, the shape is kind of interesting. I guess it's this kind of um, hexagonal shape. Uh, I guess it's kind of similar to their logo. It's kind of like a honeycomb type of shape. So, anyways, um, whoops. Yeah, besides the shape, I'm not I'm not really too impressed by the uh, the build quality of these uh, earbuds in the in the case. It just feels really cheap and light. Like I don't know, maybe some special material or something like that. But it just feels really really light, almost like it feels too cheap. Almost it's it's kind of like the opposite of the Master Dynamics. Master and Dynamics look very premium and they feel very premium, right? Like this is uh, I believe acetate, so. Yeah, this in ceramic, so actually this this feels uh, very premium, whereas the final audios feel <laughs> quite cheap actually. Uh, so and it, they honestly look pretty cheap too. So I don't know. My first impressions of these are, are not so good so far, just based on um, the feeling of it. But maybe the sound quality will be uh, will win me over. <laughs> yeah, I haven't tried the sound quality yet, but yeah, let's uh, let's compare it. I'm going to test these out and. Uh, also, compare it to my Klipsch as well. I have a pair of Klipsch's T5 Mark IIs, uh, which also look a lot more premium as well, right? And actually, the Klipsch's are cheaper. These were um, about 100 bucks. These were like 75 bucks. So the Klipsch's are actually cheaper and look a lot better. But Klipsch always puts a lot of attention into the appearance of their products. So that's yeah, very nice and um, keeps the prices affordable. So yeah, this one, uh, not impressed with the build quality so far. Yeah, about 100 bucks for these. 150 bucks for the Master and Dynamics and um, about 75 bucks for the Klipsch. So let's see if the sound quality can um, at least match up to the Klipsch's and uh, see if they can exceed the Klipsch's and Master Dynamics. We'll see. So far, I think my favorite is still the Master and Dynamics because it's it's got a really nice balanced sound. Um, I mean, it's got a little bit of like more bass than uh, than usual, but that's fine. I mean, that's most wireless earbuds have a lot of bass, but it's not too much, right? They're not overdoing it, so it's fairly balanced. The Klipsch's are also pretty good. Not not quite as much detail as the Master and Dynamics, and a little bit trebles a little bit overextended, but overall still pretty good for the price. So let's see how the the final audios stack up. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, so after trying out all three of these wireless earbuds for a bit, um, playing the same songs on each, I think I now have a verdict on uh, which one I like the best, um, and at least for my taste, and that is the Master and Dynamic MW03s. I mean, these, um, not only do they look really nice, um, but they are the most balanced and the most uh, detailed out of all these three. Um, so yeah, I just feel a lot of clarity, a lot of detail, a pretty decent soundstage, and uh, yeah, it's fairly balanced. There's no um, emphasis on any like unnatural frequencies or anything like that. 
just overall a really nice pair of wireless earbuds you can find them online for about 150 bucks which is half the price of the msrp which is a really nice deal they have physical controls which i prefer over the touch controls um because like i said touch controls can be a bit finicky um and uh yeah oh, they have noise canceling as well so uh these other ones i don't think have noise canceling so i think overall out of these three master and dynamic mw08s for sure in terms of both features and sound quality uh and then these two are interesting um the final audios actually are fairly balanced except they have a, a bass boost i can definitely hear the bass boost um i mean the mid-range and the the high end is fairly um balanced and uh there it's okay it's not as detailed as the master dynamic uh mw08s but it's totally fine um i don't think anyone would um would uh, be offended uh, but just, yeah, definitely there's a lot more bass in here than the, compared to the Master Dynamics. But I think this is good enough for most people, you know, and it's not a huge bloated bass like there is on the Sony WF-1000XM3s. Um, but, you know, there's a decent amount of bass. So I think for people who uh, who like to listen to their to their bass, they'll be satisfied with these. And, um, and yeah, the mid-range and treble are, are quite balanced, I would say. And I would say, yeah, it's it's decently uh detailed not as much as the master dynamic but it's it's decent so i think yeah if anyone has this for 100 bucks they will not be disappointed um i think for 100 dollar wireless uh earbuds then uh, these are pretty nice yeah another thing is the fit so uh i think as you would expect final audio is a company that specializes in ear tips and stuff these fit the best out of all all these um they're very comfortable uh you can definitely find um i would think the right ear tips uh for a good seal so yeah out of all these i think the funnel audios felt the best like comfortably in my ear um but yeah the sound quality i would say is kind of in my preference in the middle between these three for me um and yeah overall i think the in terms of appearance i think this these ones are the, are the ones that are least attractive to me honestly i i think the uh, it just like i said the case and the the uh, earbuds feel a little bit cheap um the clips is pretty nice looking uh, earbuds um, the sound quality is uh, a soft v shape i would say uh, so it definitely puts a lot of emphasis on the highs on the treble and like i said it overextends the treble by a bit but you know i don't think it's too fatiguing uh, it's not too bad um, and a little bit of a bass boost as well um, so it's a soft v shape i would say um, but yeah i would think this is a this is a sound a lot of people will like too and uh, i would actually think that it's in terms of clarity it might be maybe comparable even more than the final audios not as much as the master dynamics so yeah i think uh that's that's pretty much my verdict on these three i like the master and dynamic mw0 it's the best um and then these two depends on what kind of sound you like if you like a lot of bass then i think the final audios provide a decent bass boost not too bloated but they definitely give a decent bass boost and then the clips if you like your highs um, i think clips are really good at the highs so yeah if you like low end if you like high end or if you just want something more balanced i think that's uh, my verdict on these three so that's it guys final audio ce 3000s compared to uh to all these guys um yeah let me know what you guys think if you have any questions or comments leave them in the section below and as always thanks for watching